Hello and welcome back to Before Our Friends Die. You're joined by me, Kavan, and this is the Aki and Saltfish Digital Network. Last week, I was joined by Farhana Williamson and we discussed all things names. That includes how to get someone's name right, how to apologize if you get it wrong, and way much more. So please go ahead and check it out. It is in the archive. But today, you know what this episode's about. It's all about getting to know our guest. And that includes our seven signature questions. So... Fahana, for full transparency, I gave you an, a brief overview of our uh, part one conversation before we had the conversation, but these are completely brand new questions. Okay. So the first one is, um, who is the richest person in your phone book? In my phone book? Hmm. Oh God, the richest, as in like financially? I'm going to leave that all open to interpretation. Hmm, the richest person. Oh, no, this is so hard. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I'm going to say my husband. Yeah. Because he has me. There <laughs> you go. I think I bring a lot to his life. <laughs> there you go. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> I'm trying to think. We've had about 50 guests on, give or take. And no one said, like, their closest person because they have them. You've, you've had, like, people who have said, okay, this person is a CFO or so on and so forth, right? And then you've also had people who said, I've got this friend and they're just so content, they're so peaceful and they're rich in spirit. But I don't think I've ever heard someone say so-and-so because they've got me. I love that answer. <laughs> that is powerful. Oh, no, I'm going to sound terrible now. Own it. Own it. Own it. But I can tell you the richest person on my Facebook friends list. Yeah, yeah. Sam Fender. Is that a singer? Yeah. What did they what did they think? What did they oh, sing no. again? Like 17 go like, oh no, no, you have to Google it. Let me Google, let me Google. Sam Fender. You won a Brit Award. I recognise the name, but you know, like me and names right now is um ironically not the best. <laughs> um I tell you what, my internet is being real slow, but I'm gonna come back to Sam Fender when it loads. Um Okay. How why do you have Sam Fender on Facebook? We went to school together. You went to school with Sam Fender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was at my 18th birthday party. We were friends in school. Wow. Did you always know that they were going to be somebody? Yeah, he had, he had a great voice. He still has a great voice. Um, he was... Do you know that TV show Vera? He played a small part yeah, in Vera. Is it BBC, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. I think he was a dead person. But... Um, <laughs> 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 um, so I'd say the richest person on my Facebook would be Sam Fender. Um and my husband would be the richest person in my phone book because you know i bring a lot of awareness to issues mm. in society to him so yeah, that yeah, yeah. I enriches knowledge I, you know i appreciate that and i think i can see some flowers behind you as well and they look like expensive flowers so you know <laughs> the, the money adds up <laughs> um okay the second question is who has the most potential that you know my sister why she is a really good artist. She's really good. Um, I think she, she could go places with her, her work. So if, if Sam Fender's listening and he needs a, an album cover, I think I know someone. Fizer Chowdhury. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Plug. Um, okay. Who is the most influential person you know? Mm. Influential person I know. Candy. It's got to be Candy. That's great. Do you know what? Look at that full circle moment. The influence that she's had on your life, on your career. That's amazing. Shout out, Candy. What, what's she up to nowadays? Um, She's just been on a skiing holiday. Get in. Um, and I think it was skiing. I might have been not snowboarding. One of the, the winter sports. Yep. I, I stay way clear of those. <laughs> so I can only recognise the name as opposed to the experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, And she... She is doing some work around research culture, improving research culture. So she's got a few um, projects she's working on around that. So I think she'll be the person to make research a better place to be, to work in. That is incredible. And what, what a legacy mm -hmm. that is to leave as well. Um, mm -hmm. You are at your best when you are, fill in the blank. I'm at my best when I am at my pole fitness class. Why do you feel at your best there? Um, well, my my pole teacher, she's called Flo Garakias. She is incredible. She makes all her students feel so empowered. And I never thought I could 
do pole fitness until I gave it a go and she was such a good hype woman. Shout out to Flo. <laughs> I think we all need um, a hype person around us. Yeah, she's us up, one yeah. of the eighth, the eighth UK strongest lady. So wow, just won a won a competition. <laughs> You're, you know, you got a lot of people around you who've just got accolades after accolades after accolades. Yeah. <laughs> There's something in the water in Newcastle. Um, okay, one thing you never regret doing. Now, this can be one thing that you're never going to regret, or it could be one thing that you do regularly that you, you never regret once you've done it. Eat cake. Oh. Do you know what? I really like your perspective on the world, right? Because people have said, again, some profound stuff, you know, I'm never going to regret going on that really expensive holiday, or I'm never going to regret, you know, doing that course. And eating cake is something that there is so much, uh, particularly if you go on Instagram right now, yeah, and you just mm-hmm. scroll on reels, you're going to get hit with uh, a bombardment of guilt-inducing videos that tell you how bad this is and how bad that yeah. is and how you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. But never regret any eating cake is such a strong stance to have. Tell me more about that. Life is short. I don't want to be on my deathbed thinking, oh, I wish I ate that cake back in that holiday in Greece, you know. Eat the cake. Eat the cake. Mm, eat the cake. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully in a great career. Um, in a nice house. With more flowers. <laughs> um, maybe maybe some children and just still eating cake. I'm loving the, the identity <laughs> you're forming right now. Okay, so... <laughs> My Google loaded of Sam Fender and uh, he's 29. So I'm going to assume you're also 29 if he was at your 18th birthday party. What advice would you now give to yourself 10 years ago? So thinking back to that party with Sam Fender, what advice would you now tell yourself then? Oh. So back then, I knew I wanted to do psychology and I had it in my head, you must get that psychology related job straight after your degree. And I didn't, and I thought that was like the end of the world, but life often falls into place exactly where you, and you end up exactly where you want to be. So I worked in the bank for a year and it was like the worst job I ever had. I can't do quick maths. I can't, I'm really bad with counting coins, (laughs) (laughs) but I somehow end up exactly where I want to be and life does work out. Life does work out. Yeah. I think, I think 18 year old Bahana would be so proud of where, 30 year old for Hana is now like yeah <laughs> and that is that is a pleasure to hear uh, all the impact you've had so far on the world of research and academia long may it continue and um, if I may as well give a shout out on behalf of the mice because it sounds like your work is also going to protect their well-being as well and um, oh, yeah they, they get a lot used a lot on research so I'm thinking of all the mice that I could help in the world there you go and, and what better mission to have than supporting mice um Genuinely, thank you so, so much. This has been a conversation that's been over a year in the making and you've always been very hospitable to me when I've been trying to arrange this conversation. Uh, I thought now is the perfect time. Good luck with finishing your PhD and good luck with whatever happens next. I'm sure it will be amazing things. Uh, I'll keep up with your journey. And by all means, if you want to keep up with Farhana's journey, please do check out the description below where you can see the original article that forms the basis of our conversation in part one. But also you will see the link to Farhana's LinkedIn as well where you can keep up with her amazing journey too. This has been... Before our friends die, you've been joined by me, Kavan, on the Aki and Saltfish Digital Network. You can email us at Aki and Saltfish on G- at gmail.com. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave us a five-star rating and review and share this with a friend because guess what? It really helps us grow. Wow, what a conversation. And don't forget to go back to part one and check out all things about names to learn way much more or whatever the phrase is. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate you listening. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>